Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. We are going to be reacting to a video from Slapped Ham and as always I need you guys to let me know in the comments if you think a clip is real or fake and let me know why. If you're brand new to the channel make sure you hit subscribe and make sure the notification bell is on all. Give it a thumbs up. Um, after the video I'm going to be I want to talk to you guys um, after the reaction um, so guys stay with me until the end and uh, yeah let's go. A chilling video recently surfaced on Reddit in which user AsleepAD8673 shares their eerie encounter while using the Randonautica app in Kansas City, Missouri. The app, which generates random coordinates for users to explore, has been the center of numerous rumors, suggesting it's cursed or leads users to dangerous locations. In the video, the OP ventures deep into the woods. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, yeah. The car appears to have been deliberately set on fire, sparking questions about the circumstances behind its destruction. Okay. I have an issue with the random old crap. I really do. I did a video on it. You can go check it out. But the Reddit user explained that they contacted the police after discovering the vehicle. I knocked for a while and no response, so I felt like I needed to make sure nobody was inside the car that possibly needed help. Yeah. It was later revealed that the car belonged to a reported missing person, adding to the unsettling nature of the discovery. The uploader also mentioned the unsettling atmosphere of their surroundings, stating... When the city you live in is nicknamed Killer City, it makes going on adventures so much more terrifying. They also described a lingering smell at the scene that they will never possibly forget. Oh, it smells horrible. This recent Randonautica experience raises questions about the app's intentions and the rumours surrounding it. Was the burnt-out car hiding evidence of a sinister crime, or is there a less eerie explanation? And why did the app lead the OP directly to the vehicle? While there's no concrete evidence to confirm the app is indeed cursed, its users continue to uncover bizarre and sometimes unnerving findings, adding to the app's creepy reputation. So in the middle of the f woods. So the keys have to be in the Yeah, right? yeah. The lights came on. A viewer named Victor recently sent us a chilling video taken in his newly inherited home. The house, built in the 1930s, belonged to Victor's late grandmother and has a reputation for giving visitors the creeps. Now, Victor has shared some footage that might lend credence to those uneasy feelings. Oh, in the I clip, Victor films basement. down the stairway leading to the basement Never where he had there. just heard some what? unexplained noises. Can hear something, it's a TV on in the background. A strange grey figure can be seen climbing up the stairs just before the video abruptly ends. Oh, yeah, that's creepy. Victor provided some context, saying, I started to hear noises coming up from the basement. Every time I'd try to record, the noises would stop. Moments before I started recording, the noises had gotten louder. Soon as I turned to walk away, I heard what sounded like breathing. That's when I went back to the stairs and caught what I cannot explain. Yeah, I'd move. Victor left the house that night and didn't return for several days. Oh. Since then, he's not experienced any further paranormal activity, but promised to keep us updated on any developments. The video oh. raises questions mm. about the nature of the figure caught on camera. Is this a genuine ghost sighting, or could it be an elaborate hoax? Without further goes. evidence, it remains a mystery. Nonetheless, the footage serves as a reminder that sometimes our ancestral homes may hold secrets we'd rather not uncover. 
As I said, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. It's real, fake. Give me a reason why you think that is. In mid-April 2023, a strange video clip posted by Twitter user Sweet Sugar captured the attention of social media users. The footage featured bizarre, unidentified creatures that spawned a wave of wild rumours and theories. What the heck is that? That's the thing, we don't know. There's Some so liken species. their appearance to baby demogorgons from Stranger Things, while others believe they were alien worms or a new type of cryptid. It's probably, it's a new species or something, we don't know. There's so However, many the speculation was put to rest when the creatures were eventually identified as Amblyopini, oh, okay. or more commonly known as eel gobies. Eel gobies oh. are a subfamily of gobies, which are small fish <coughs> primarily found in shallow marine and freshwater habitats. Oof. These unusual creatures are characterised by their elongated bodies, giving them an eel-like appearance. Eel gobies have adapted to living in various environments, including muddy river bottoms and brackish estuaries. Despite the their initially mysterious and unsettling appearance, the identification of the creatures as eel gobies dispelled any notions of supernatural or extraterrestrial origins. Oh, Nonetheless, convenient. the video serves as a reminder of the diverse and sometimes bizarre forms of life that inhabit our planet. Yep, we're still finding new species all the time. Yeah, it's still creepy though. Glenn Davidson, a viewer of ours, recently emailed us with some unsettling photos captured by his niece's baby monitor. The images have raised questions about a possible ghostly presence in the home, or even a more sinister explanation, an intruder. In his email, Davidson explained that his niece lives alone with her baby in a house where a young man had previously committed suicide. The first photo, taken on November 14th, 2022, shows the baby sleeping in their crib. However, there's an unexplained orb of light appearing mm -hmm. to the left of Frank. Yeah. Him. The second photo, taken a few days prior, features a mysterious figure that Davidson claims is carrying the baby, with what appears to be the baby's feet sticking out from what? under the unidentified person's arm. Okay. According to Davidson, the figure picked up the crying baby, activating the baby monitor camera. The mother, who was sleeping at the time, saw these images on her phone after being woken up by her child's cries. While some believe the photos may depict a ghostly encounter, others have raised concerns about the possibility of an intruder entering mm. the home and yeah. holding the baby. Yeah. Without but further evidence, it remains unclear whether the mysterious figure and orb of light are supernatural in nature or if there's a more worrisome explanation, such as a prowler inside of the home. The Which orb, of these yes. two chilling possibilities would you prefer? That's the paranormal. Ghost holding your baby or a creepy trespasser? That I'm not Let me sure know in the about. comments down below. I'm just going to pause it here a sec, guys. Um, usually, um, and it has been known, if there's been a, like a child crying or if there's a child in the house and there is something that, there is like a spirit in the house that's not, you know, they will tend to, um, like, watch over the child, like a protection thing. Um, I've read many stories about it. So, um, but yeah, let's carry on with it. And also, um, I want to just talk to you guys once the video is done. Um, so watch to the very, very end, please. In recent weeks, a perplexing video clip captured by pilot George Ortega has been going viral, igniting debates and discussions among UFO enthusiasts. The footage shows an unidentified object swiftly flying through the air. Some experts are proclaiming it to be the best UFO footage ever captured. However, not everyone's convinced by the video's authenticity. Mm. Skeptics have proposed alternative explanations for the object, suggesting it could be a mylar balloon or could the be. result of video editing and CGI manipulation. Could be. Meanwhile, others are more open to the possibility that the footage could be evidence of extraterrestrial life. 
or a glimpse of a top secret military craft. Yeah, I always say it's military. I think if there are aliens Without out further there, evidence why would they or additional Earth? information, this extraordinary sighting remains shrouded in mystery. The debate surrounding the video underscores the ongoing fascination with unidentified aerial phenomena and the desire for answers about what may be lurking in our skies. Before we take a look at an eerie photo that's been captured in Arizona, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Yep, don't forget to go subscribe to mine and tickle my notification bell. A perplexing photo submitted to our Slaptam subreddit by user Waltzend has left viewers intrigued and questioning the supernatural. Taken in Tolleson, Arizona, during a Halloween gathering, the image initially aimed to capture a hatchet throw. However, upon closer inspection, the photo reveals a strange transparent figure in the frame. Okay. The figure appears to have a head and body, yet is translucent enough that the fence in the background is visible through the mm. apparition. That's pretty cool. The uploader shared that the solid figure in the photo to the left is their nephew. Okay. Arizona is known for its ghostly hauntings and spine-chilling tales, and among these, the Hotel San Carlos in downtown Phoenix stands out as one of the most famous haunted locations. Ooh. Built in 1928, the hotel is a historic landmark that's been frequented by Hollywood stars and celebrities over the years. Guests and staff alike have reported various paranormal encounters throughout the hotel. One of the most well-known and frequently recounted stories involves sightings of a woman believed to have jumped to her death from the hotel in the 1920s. Named Leonie Jensen, the young woman was reportedly heartbroken over a failed romance and mm. chose to end her life by leaping from the rooftop. Since then, her spirit is said to wander the hotel, particularly on the seventh floor, where she's been seen in a white gown, sometimes appearing to float above the ground. The mysterious image from the Halloween party raises the question of whether this transparent figure is a genuine ghost mm. or simply an optical illusion. Without further evidence or investigation, it remains a fascinating puzzle that adds to the mystique of Arizona's haunted history. Well, if it's haunted history, then obviously, my personal opinion, it's it's legit. Now, if you That's can't get my, enough uh, of the personal opinion. Um, yeah, that was a really interesting one, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you think a clip was real or fake, let me know. And let me know why you think it's real or fake. Um, I'll be right back, guys. Um, I'm just going to have a little chat with you. And, yeah, I'll be right back. 2,000 years later. Thank you for watching the video. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much for your love and support as well on the channel. Um, so... Um, quickly give you my thoughts on some of those clips. The Random Nautica one, um, I did a video on this um, saying, is it real or is it fake? Um, I've watched so many YouTubers and it just seems a huge, huge coincidence, the stuff that they find. So I'm not fully sold on that it's a real app. Um, I have thought about maybe trying it myself, seeing what happens. But um, we'll find out. I'll decide. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, June next month, um, you probably won't see a lot of videos on the channel because I am going away for nearly a month. Well, about three weeks um, to visit my partner. And hopefully while we're over there, we're both going to be doing some paranormal investigating together. Uh, at night um, um, we are going to be staying at a hotel a haunted hotel but um, you'll have to wait for that one because I'm not telling you which one yet um, so that's going to be super exciting we're both excited um, just to spend time with each other as I said in past videos and I know for a fact I'm going to be stressing because it's just how I am so my energy will probably be focused on like making sure everything is ready for when I go because I don't have to catch one flight. I've got like connections. I've got to go from one country to America and then to another airport. 
so yeah i'm gonna be six, 16 hours so i'm gonna be jet lagged <laughs> yeah super jet lagged um so yeah there won't as i said you guys understand that there won't be that many videos um like i said i will we, me and my partner we will be both be doing um investigations together we're both looking forward to that and just spending time with each other and i'm looking forward to trying some of the food because it looks amazing um but yeah i just want to say a quick say thank you for your support um you can go follow me on tiktok chasing spirit uk uh instagram is chasing spirit uk as well um i might vlog my journey as well so if you want me to vlog it let me know in the comments um but yeah really looking forward to it it's um as it gets closer we both get more and more excited um yeah it's gonna be special um yeah yeah it's just like i can't believe it's happening kind of thing um uh, the fact that three weeks in america in texas san antonio texas one of the most haunted states um it doesn't matter where you are um there's activity day or night but um yeah if you want me to react to anything else um any clips drop some links in the comments guys uh, but yeah i want to thank you for your support and i am looking forward to my holiday um so yeah <laughs> i will see you guys in the next video so take care and most of all be kind to each other's guys and i'll see you very soon